What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Blown Coverage Fantasy Football Podcast. I'm Waver Wire Queen. Today, we are going to talk about three wide receivers I absolutely love in fantasy football. And these three guys you should definitely draft. Let's get it. To the Blown Coverage Fantasy Football Podcast with Waver Wire Queen. All right, y'all, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We have a lot of great material, which will help you prepare for your upcoming fantasy football season to help you achieve your ultimate goal to win your fantasy football league. Because at the end of the day, the ultimate goal is to win, win, win. And that's all we're trying to do and accomplish this upcoming season. Let's talk about these wide receivers I absolutely love because I just love them. These three guys I've been targeting in most of my drafts, and I have been successful at adding these guys to my team. And I'll tell you this, these three wide receivers will help your team throughout the season and ultimately guarantee you a shot in the playoffs to play for what? The championship. Because, again, got to make the playoffs. So you have an opportunity to win. Michael Pittman Jr. with the Colts had a tremendous season. It was a breakout year for him. I talked about him last year as breeding a potential breakout candidate, and he exceeded my expectations. And he's going to have a much better season this year because he's got a quarterback. Matt Ryan is his starting quarterback who happens to be better than Carson Wentz even at this stage in his career that's right and then obviously we all know the Colts have a much better offensive line than the Falcons so you can expect Matt Ryan to have a much better season than he did last season and the season before last because he has offensive weapons in that run game Jonathan Taylor but let's keep it 100 Pittman was able to have a good season for a team that is a run first offense obviously we know what taylor did this past season but Pittman was still brilliant and you also got to factor in the fact that carson wentz was carson wincing it up and stinking it up a lot of games not as bad when he was when he exited philly but still wasn't great and Pittman was able to still produce okay it was a breakout season for him in 2021 he had um, 1,082 yards and six touchdowns, which were career highs, he's going to have an even better 2022. So prioritize him. He's not going to stick around late in that draft like he may have in 2020 and 2021. So go on and get him as soon as you can. Okay, prioritize. So prioritize Pittman because he's not going to be available late like he was uh, in his rookie season and in 2021. So if you want Pittman Jr., you're going to have to be aggressive and snatch him up. Coming in at number two, another one of my favorites who is guaranteed to have a hell of a season, a bounce back in, all of that good stuff, Allen Robinson. That's right. Allen Robinson with the Rams. He signed with the Rams this past offseason. A few factors why Allen Robinson is going to have a tremendous year, and I'm loving him as one of my uh, wide receivers to target in this upcoming draft. Obviously, OBJ is still unsigned. Robert Woods has left the building via trade to the Tennessee Titans. Also, consider the fact that you have Matthew Stafford throwing the ball. He's going to be throwing it sideways. He's going to be doing all types of things to help ensure that Allen Robinson is going to go over 1,000 yards this season. I can guarantee he's going to go over 1,000 yards this season. It's going to be a bounce back season. Obviously, we're not even going to talk about 2021 because it ain't worth talking about. When you look at the stats for Robinson in 2021, you're like, let's not even go there. It wasn't a good year. The Bears were horrible. Rookie quarterback, what do you expect? Okay, and then we know Mooney ended up being the number one for the Bears. But at the end of the day, he's going to be playing alongside Cooper Cup. Okay, so we all know what Cooper Cup did last season. Tremendous record-breaking season for, for Cooper Cup. And then again, I can't stress enough Matthew Stafford and that high-powered Rams offense. Let's be clear, the running game is going to 
underwhelm at times. And they're going to throw the ball. And it's going to be a good season for Allen Robinson. It may even be a career season for Allen Robinson. So if you can draft Allen Robinson, do so. Do not overlook him because you will regret it. And I'm loving Allen Robinson in 2022 in fantasy, and you should too. Coming in as the number one wide receiver I truly love this year in fantasy football, Gabriel Davis. That's right. Gabriel Davis with the Bills is simply going to have a, an amazing season. Obviously, it's going to be a career year because he's finally getting to step into that number two wide receiver role, and he's going to see a lot more playing time. He's going to be on that field a lot, which means he's going to have a lot of opportunities, and you got to factor in. No more Emmanuel Sanders and Cole Beasley. They are no longer with the team, and then you got to factor in. He is going to be catching passes from Josh Allen, top five quarterback, maybe top two quarterback, maybe number one. Nonetheless, he's going to be catching passes from the one of the young, most dynamic quarterbacks in today's football. So I want stock in Gabriel Davis and you should too. And you don't have to reach for him. Just make sure you draft him, prioritize him because it's going to pay off. You are going to be pleased with Gabriel Davis. And let's be Real, he he showed us exactly what he's capable of doing in the playoffs against the Chiefs, right? Eight receptions, 201 yards, four touchdowns. What else can you ask for? After that game, the Bills had to say, uh, Sanders, Cole Beasley, it was nice, but we have to get Gabriel Davis in the starting lineup on a consistent basis. He has to be our number two guy. He's fast, he's talented. I am excited to see exactly what Gabriel Davis does this year in the NFL and especially in fantasy football. All right, y'all, leave some comments and let me know your thoughts of these three wide receivers I absolutely love. Let me know if we got it right on these three guys and if you are targeting these three wide receivers in your upcoming draft, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can stay connected with the channel because we have a lot of great content which is going to help you prepare for your upcoming season so you can achieve your ultimate goal to win your fantasy football league because that is what it's all about. It's all about winning out here in these fantasy football streets and you already know if it ain't about winning, then what else is it really about? Make sure you tune in on Friday, because we have a really great episode, I'm going to talk about some running backs that I absolutely think are still late in your upcoming fantasy football draft. And you should be prioritizing these guys. They will help you win every week. So tune in on Friday for more from the Blown Coverage Fantasy Football Podcast. Y'all have a great week. I'll see you on Friday. Thanks for listening to the Blown Coverage Fantasy Football Podcast. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Blown Coverage Fantasy Football Podcast.